After the NFL draft last year, I got a lot of messages from LSU fans telling me they had another running back that was even better than Leonard Fournette. Of course, my instant reaction was, yeah, right. Like they can replace a top five pick with another dude on the roster. But then I started watching Darius Geis and boy, do I like him. From my film study, I was super impressed with how he gains yards after contact. Even though he was injured for a good portion of his final season in college, he still finished runs, lowered his shoulder, and had the vision to see cuts before they happened. In my opinion, he would do really well on a team like the Seahawks, the Redskins, the Giants, and even a team like the Buccaneers. As a prospect, Geist has a powerful lower body and he has good overall size for the position. He also plays with good balance and vision as he reads the line. As far as his weaknesses are concerned, his hips are a bit tight, so he's not the most elusive running back. He definitely has power to hammer the ball and break arm tackles, but he's not as slippery as some of the other running backs in this class. In my opinion, he would make an amazing first and second down running back while proving he can handle the responsibilities of a third down back in the NFL. Based on all these traits, I gave him a late first round grade in this draft. Looking at his film, you can't not be impressed with how he runs. He runs with a serious chip on his shoulder and he punishes defenders with his power and violence. I love how in every play, he fights for extra yards and he rarely fumbles the ball. He's angry. There's no other word for it. If your team lacks a physicality and edge, guys can step in and fill that role. In my opinion, his vision as a ball carrier is super underrated as well. He does a fantastic job of setting up his blocks and has a natural sense for where the play is going. At LSU, he ran out of two back sets, heavy personnel single back, and even ran some jet sweeps lining up as a slot receiver. I think the 12 personnel heavier alignments and really any system that allows him to go north to south would be best for him in the pros. I believe this system will give him a head start where he can use his power and vision to gain yards. I say this because one of Geist's biggest negatives is that his hips aren't the most mobile when he cuts. When he's on a wide track or running east to west and he has to cut up field, I feel like he needs more room to round the edge. I would much prefer him to run straight and downhill at the line in any sort of gap or power scheme. He can run inside zone between the tackles and has the capability to bounce the run outside, but I feel like a pure zone stretch running game wouldn't necessarily be the best use of his skill set. Moving on, while Geis is a really good running back that should start on first and second downs, he wasn't used as a receiver in college. LSU simply didn't ask him to catch the ball. He did grab the occasional check down or screen pass, but it wasn't enough for me to feel confident in his abilities at the backfield. As of right now, I feel like if your team already has a designated third down back, you don't need to use Geis in this role yet. I let him learn the offense as a pure runner before giving him any other duties, at least in his rookie season. To add to this in pass protection, I also don't feel like Geis offers that much to an NFL team right now. He'll throw a shoulder and he won't use his hands consistently to square up directly to a rusher. When he cut blocks, they are often too low and not aimed correctly at the right spot. I feel like he doesn't always see the target through the block, but in my opinion, all of these issues are definitely fixable. The good news is that he has the body and strength for this trait to eventually be a plus. Finally, and for Geis' pro comparison, I think he reminds me a lot of Marshawn Lynch. Both have the power, and they both pair that with great vision to cut into their holes. I feel like Lynch was the better prospect coming out, but I still feel like Geis will turn into an excellent running back at the next level. Now, before I end this breakdown, here are my top three running backs and their grades. As you can see, I still absolutely love Saquon Barkley, but I've taken the time to scout some of the other top running backs in this class. My list includes guys like Kerryon Johnson, Rashad Penny, Nick Chubb, and Ronald Jones, so if you're interested in seeing my grades on those players, all you need to do is click on the link to my Patreon account and leave a small $1 a month donation. Thanks for watching, and you can follow me on Twitter at Samuel R. Gold.